What's going on, Jerome? So your Minnesota Fighting Vikings needed to add some veteran depth uh, at uh, cornerback uh, this free agency cycle before heading to the draft, and they, they did just that on Tuesday afternoon. Uh, Jordan Schultz, Schultz Report, go. Uh, breaking free agent quarterback Shaq Griffin is signing with the Vikings on a one-year deal uh, up to $6 million bucks. Sources tell Bleach Report. Now, yes, uh, so Shaquille Griffin is coming off an expiring contract, so he will factor into the comp picks, but like we said from the jump, comp picks are nice. Uh, but don't worry about potential picks next year uh, affect how you're going to approach free agency this year. And the Vikings uh, got themselves uh, some solid veteran outside cornerback depth uh, at a pretty good uh, price point. So let's talk about uh, Shaquille Griffin today. Uh, background, uh, 28 years young, six foot, a buck 98, former three-star recruit from St. Petersburg, Florida, uh, played his college ball at the... University of Central Florida, same as Dante Culpepper. Get your roll on, baby. That's right. Uh, and Shaq is uh, twin brothers with Shaquem Griffin, uh, the inspirational linebacker, uh, played high-level college football, made the NFL uh, with one hand. And, I mean, it was a great start. I, I, I love in 2017 when they were both drafted together. It was great. Also, hey, the Vikings need some linebacker depth. Shaquem, ah, come on. C come on, man. That's right. Uh, and Shaquille was a third-round pick in 2017, uh, number 90 overall. And, frankly, on his rookie deal, he balled out in Seattle. Like, he had himself a great time. 2019 Pro Bowler, he had six interceptions and 48 passes broken up uh, in four seasons in Seattle, which is it's pretty damn good. I mean, averaging uh, 12 passes broken up a year, it's good. Uh, got the bag from Jacksonville. But what always happens, I don't know what it is. Like, it's the same with Foley Futakasi. It's the same with a lot of guys that go to Jacksonville. and just big free agent deals, and, and they don't work out. Uh, I... I it's not the talent issue. I think it's scheme. Also, maybe there's something in the water in eastern Florida. Who knows, man? But uh, was limited to five games in 2022 due to a back injury. Uh, he was cut. And, frankly, we wanted Shaquille Griffin last year uh, in free agency, but he ended up going to the Texans. Uh, D'Amico Ryans, one-year, $4.5 million deal. Uh, played in 10 games, but eventually was waived as he was replaced uh, in the lineup. Sort of fell out of favor uh, with Ryans and the Texans. Uh, finished out the string uh, with the Carolina Panthers last season. Uh, in total, played 459 snaps, 67 PFF grade, uh, 82.5 quarter back rating when thrown at a uh, one interception and four passes broken up 39 tackles there you go uh and also his his uh, uh attributes is that he's he's a long tough physical corner he's aggressive outside uh, as evidenced by all the passes broken up he will get after things now predominantly he's played outside left cornerback he hasn't really switched sides often uh in the league i would say about 85 percent of his snaps are at outside left corner uh so it's something to take into account he is a physical tackler he will certainly get after that and uh, so we'll love that he'll bring that to the table and like like we said um he primarily plays on the left and last year uh the corner alignment was generally a caleb evans on the right uh murphy uh, at the left when they played with two corners uh kicking inside and makai blackman kicking in a left uh when they went nickel uh, etc so they'll have to figure something out uh i think more likely it's going to be murph playing slot full time uh and then Shaq, and then whoever else on the outside potentially makai blackman or uh potentially i don't know may maybe adding xavian howard who knows who knows? Or uh, looking to add a cornerback in the draft. But overall, like uh, adding Griffin does uh, give a nice little veteran boost to this cornerback room. And there's always tons of potential there, but that and a, uh, and a dollar will get you a cup of coffee. That won't even get you a cup of coffee anymore. Uh, but I, I believe Makai Blackman year two, love him. Evans you know, was sort of in and out of Flores' doghouse last year. Booth Jr., a former second-round pick. You can't really get the time of day, uh, so we'll certainly see. It always shocked me when I see A.J. Green on there. <laughs> I'm just like, ah, uh, oh, yeah, the other one. Mm -hmm. uh, but the Vikings, you know, they are having a, a nice little facelift on defense as you know, Flores and and uh, Quasi are definitely having a bit of a, a movement in bringing in uh, value guys uh, as well as uh, young ascending talents like Van Ginkle, uh, Grenard, as well as Blake Cashman. And, you know, Griffin, I mean, the one-year prove-it deal, he's got some uh, career rehab to do. But like we said, he's only 28. He's gonna, he, he does turn 29 over the summer. And at his best, he's a tough, physical, uh, outside corner, you know, probably best suited to press man and zone. Uh, but I think that it's a great addition uh, at this point of free agency. Uh, so Quasi remains uh, on one. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. A Viking signed veteran cornerback Shaquille Griffin. Uh, let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. You guys know what to do. Skull production value.